one click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. When I heard and read about the Marriott breach, I got so angry and so upset. And probably the big reason, why don't companies listen to me? I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. And I talk about the three rules of network architecture. And I tell everyone, I'm not saying you'll never have a breach, but I'll tell you every company that's had a breach has violated these three rules. And unfortunately, Marriott is no exception. Marriott violated some basic technical rules that we need to follow in order to properly architect our environment. So if you're a security engineer, a manager, anybody that is involved in protecting and securing information, learn from Marriott and follow Dr. Cool's three rules of network architecture. So let's go through them. The first rule, any system that needs to be accessible from the internet. This means people from the internet are able to access that system. Those systems always go on a DMZ. Right that's a separate area that's only accessible from the internet, isolated from the rest of your network. Now question, if I have a system directly accessible from the internet, it has a pretty good chance of getting compromised. Now, I hope it doesn't get compromised. I wish it does, doesn't get compromised, but there's a probability it could happen. So in order to minimize or reduce the risk, what do we do? Any system that's accessible from the internet on our DMZ never, ever, ever contains critical data. So rule one, any system accessible from the internet must go on a DMZ and DMZ systems never contain critical data. Where does our critical data go? Rule two, critical data goes on the private network. Now, if you have servers on the private network that contain critical data, that needs to be high trust, low risk. And how do you gain a high trust and a low risk? No direct access from the internet. No one from the internet can directly access systems on your private network. So rule two, any systems that contain critical data goes on a private network and private network systems are never accessible from the internet. Now watch what we have. I have my DMZ systems that contain no data and those are high risk but low trust. And then I have my private network systems that contain critical data with no access from the internet and is high trust, low risk. So at this point, I have pretty good segmentation. Right? I have a pretty good breakdown going on. Now what's the problem? DMZ systems must be able to communicate with private network. So how do we allow that to happen? Because that's a pretty risky connection. The way we allow that to happen is with rule three. Rule three says the only way a DMZ system can communicate with the server on the private network is by going through a proxy on a middleware tier. So now we're breaking and filtering down that connection to limit and reduce that risk and exposure. So now look at what we have. We have our three basic rules. Rule one, any systems accessible from the internet go on a DMZ, and DMZ systems never contain critical data. Rule two, anything with critical data goes on the private network and never accessible from the internet. And rule three says the only way a DMZ system can communicate with the private network is by going through a proxy on a middleware tier. Now, once again, we know that Marriott had servers that were accessible from the internet to contain critical data. What we don't know at this point is whether it was a DMZ server that contained critical data or is a private network server that had direct access. So we don't know if they violated rule one or violated rule two, but I can guarantee you they violated the rule. Why? If they didn't, the breach wouldn't have happened. So here's a simple thing you wanna do as a techie person. You wanna go in, and create a list of all your servers that contain critical data. You then want to create a second list, all your servers that are accessible from the internet. And you want to go in and compare the two lists. If there's any overlap, if there's any system that's on both lists, 
you violated the rules and you need to fix it. But a server that's accessible from the internet should never contain critical data and a server that contains critical data should never be accessible from the internet. Cybersecurity is not hard if we follow some basic principles. So follow Dr. Cole's rules of network architecture, make sure you're protecting your data, and if you do that, you are on the winning team. If you don't do that, if you have servers accessible from the internet, then you're going to go in and be on the losing team. And if you want to see how it feels to be on the losing team, contact Marriott. But trust me, the winning team is where you want to be.